the Glamazon, one of the most dominant women in WWE history. Beth Phoenix looks poised for competition here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing the Guys, two. Guys, you hear that? From Buffalo. I sure do. What is going on? No oh, way. We, we don't need an interruption right now. We've got a great matchup going on. We don't need extra company. Superstars live on the edge every time they step in the ring, but in a no disqualification match, they find themselves even closer to that edge. You're right, Corey. Anything goes here, so these superstars have to be ready to play defense against any weapons the opposition might use. If history is any guy like, and brutal as the minutes go by, the superstars fill each other out a bit, weather some storm. A match like this can have so many twists and turns. Corey, what will have an impact on this matchup? You need to strike first. Dictate the pace of the match. Since anything goes, you can add anything to the equation. Each competitor responds differently to the rules being thrown out the window. The key is who can stay alert and remain in control. I wish someone would throw you out the window. It's like Beth is having trouble generating any sort of defense. Oh, what a chop. Ooh, Oof, that'll leave a mark. Beth setting up. Boom, Michinoku driver. Blasted by a forearm. Oh, no, look at this. Oh, twisting the neck. Beth Phoenix in some trouble here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Oh, and Beth turns the tables. Uh-oh. Oh, impressive counter. <laughs> oh, that's going to sting. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. Big elbow. What impact off that knee lift. Poison Rana. She's feeling it. Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Now oh, trampling the opposition. And Beth with a counter. Laid out with a power slam. Looking bad for her here. She steers clear of that one. Able to dodge that. Nice Japanese arm drag. And things backstage are getting quickly out of hand. Oh, they're done playing nice. They've got some serious aggression that needs to be worked out. And this just might be the best way to do it. Big right hand. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, my God. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. Relentless. Uh-oh, this is... A quick finish. Can she do it? <laughs> Beth able to dodge that. How insulting is that? Whack. Oh, oh God. Strikes with a kick. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. 
And she dodged that one nicely. Gut buster! Across the shoulder. Filthy. Oh, geez. Nasty kick to the face. Kick! Man. Oh, stomp it away. Isolating the foot with a DDT. Oh. And look at her. An arm breaker. And Beth with a counter. Bam! Quick exchange of counters there. Looking for more damage here. Ah, release back suplex. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> Bang! Able to avoid any harm there. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Saw that one coming, took advantage. And responds with a counter of their own. Oh, man. Dragon suplex behind her. Oh, out. Ooh. Oh. She saw it coming. Ooh, man. Oof. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Saw it coming. Take down. Ah, Northern no. Lights suplex. <laughs> Looks like setting up for a suplex. Looking to finish things off. And Beth with a counter. Oh my God, that's gotta hurt. Scissors kick. Oh yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it, too. Anyone know if this area is even up to safety code? I don't know, Saxon. These guardrails have been looking a little loose. You don't want to get close to any ledges up there. These areas are always off limits, guys. No one's supposed to be up there. I don't think they're reading the science, Cole. They're too busy beating the tar out of one another. Inverted surfboard and a wrist clock submission. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, she is desperate to get out of this submission some way, somehow, and she does. Miraculous. <laughs> Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crap. Oh! That's it. Calling it by knockout. 